The Kunsu slave camp served as a center of slave trade several centuries ago in the then Gold Coast. Noted for its rich but unharnessed ecotourism potentials, the community had a market center and a depot where these slaves are kept. As we mark the International Day for the Remembrance of the Slave Trade and its abolishment, we visited the Kunsu slave camp to tell the story of how and where slaves en route to the coast are purchased before they get to their various destinations. Faka Sakode is a resident and a tour guide here at the Kunsu slave camp. My, my name is Faka Sakode, a citizen of Kunsu, and I'm the tour guide here. This rocky cave here, also referred to as the executive lounge, served as a home and a resting point for traders who visit the Kunsu slave market to buy slaves. Where we are now, that is where the executives have been lodging. We have a security there, we have a security lounge, we have a place where they fetch their water. So when they buy the, the slaves, after which those that are not able to send, they bring them to the second phase where we'll be moving to. And when they come there, the executives do also come and lodge here. This is the market center where the slave trade takes place and slaves from the northern part of the country end up here through Salaga and Yeji before they continue to other parts of the country and beyond. Kunsu was one of the most uh, important slave trade markets in from the northern sector up to the middle of Ghana. During the time of Samori and Babetu, they were the leaders, those who were dealing in slave trade from the northern sector of um, Timbuktu, Bamako. They stopped here and they conveyed the slave to the coast. The slave camp, also referred to as a slave depot, is a strategic spot where these slaves are kept due to its secured nature. It has an entrance and a tight security to ensure that these slaves do not escape from their masters. Where we are now, we are in a slave camp. Mpuano, Nafi, Yede, Infidia Friendship, Afo Mokwa Bruchino, Ahane Dum Bugu. Nia Yan Tono, Yedu a most sign could genum, near Quaco Tomo. Nia Ebeton on the so, or it drew us a do a more qua, your baby you more free her, Nedu Moko. The people here are, however, worried at the fact that despite the significant role played by the community so far as the slave trade is concerned, little is being done to help transform the camp as well as improve the living standards of the people. They are therefore appealing to those in authority as well as stakeholders in the tourism industry to help make Kunsu a befitting tourist destination for local and international tourists. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Kunsu.